Good morning and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Noe Antonia Ile. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this beautiful day which he has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Shouts of victory and rejoicing are ahead all the time in the tent of the righteous. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God for this day. We are joining Nigeria to pray today. Nigeria started a holy assembly, a solemn assembly yesterday. Three days of prayer and prayers and fasting for Nigeria. That God will deliver the people of Nigeria from the stronghold of their leaders. That things will continue to move forward in that country. We are praying for the nations of the world that God will hear the cry of his children and arise unto us and begin to help us. The cries of his children on behalf of their nations as they intercede, believing that God is the God that answers prayers of his children. Especially when the children pray in accordance to his will and when they come believing that God will answer their prayers. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We are using three countries today as a point of contact as we pray and lift up the nations of the world to God. We are using America as a point of contact because America is at the forefront of the things happening in the world. God loves America. We pray that America will continue to give God rejoicing in everything done in this country in the name of Jesus Christ. That America will continue to be at the forefront of things relating to global affairs in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that any stronghold that will try attempt to lift up a standard against the knowledge of God in this land will be brought down by the power of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. That the light of God will continue to shine in this country. That this country will continue to support the work of the kingdom of our God. This country will continue to send forth people into the nations to do great works. That, it, that this country continue to support the nation of Israel. That's the our second point of contact in the name of Jesus Christ. That the nation of Israel will find peace and rejoicing. We find the spirit, prosperity, fruitfulness in the land that God has given to them in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that as America and the nations of the world continue to support Israel, that the nations will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ, in accordance to the will of God for the nations of the world. We pray for God's peace that surpasses human understanding in Israel. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. That as the mountain encompasses around Jerusalem, that's the way our God encompasses around us in our various nations. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That the wicked will not prevail against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That in military, in the nations, we go out in the name, in the might, in the power of our God, in his authority to do great works in their nations, in the name of Jesus Christ, to trample upon every voice of opposition that is attempting to lift up his standard against the knowledge of God in the land that God has given to his children, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless our God today that is our lot and portion in the land he has given to us, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for making the boundary line to fall on us in pleasant places. We have a good inheritance in God in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every covenant taken in the land contrary to the will of God. Strange altars erected contrary to the will of God must come down by the power of the living God. Any tree planted in our government contrary to the will of God must come down by the power of the living God. Any seed sown in our midst to cause confusion we bring down by the power of the living God. Father, we pray for the spirit of unity to be in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for what you do in the nations in Jesus' mighty name. We commit this unto your hands, Father Lord, Nigeria. We hear the same of the Hobo Hobo Shenda, Spirit of the Living God. We know the depths of spiritual wickedness that the enemy has brought against Nigeria. But once we know that we have you, when it comes, when it comes to spiritual wickedness, we come to you. Take over, Spirit of the Living God. We be the center of Hobo 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 Shenda. Release Nigeria from the grip of those that have held that nation down in Jesus' mighty name. Those that are, that are feasting on the nation, Jehovah God, that have embezzled great both the resources you have given to the nations, Lord God, that are not taking care of your children in the nation. Arise unto us and help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver us. Hear the affliction of your children. They are crying out to you today. You are not a God that will turn your back against your children. Arise and help us. Deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. In your power, in your might. Hear, Father, more the cry of your children on behalf of Nigeria and the nations of the world today. Arise, Lord God. Do that which you alone can do. You have blessed Nigeria, Father, Lord. 
with mineral resources, with human resources, oh Lord God. You have blessed Nigeria with intelligent people. Father, Lord, he will send that home, oh, oh. We come against that spirit of confusion over that land. We come against our Lord, those that have dedicated the nation to the world of the occult. Jehovah, arise unto us that our leaders will not be walking about blinded by the gods of this world. That they will not, they, they cannot see, Father, Lord, what the things happening in their communities. Jehovah, arise unto Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, help Nigeria. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, Jehovah, he will be sent that Yahweh cry for help. Arise unto the nations of the world today. Arise and help us, Jehovah God, from any strong man, strong woman, any spirit. Rebebe shame that invoke upon the nation, causing confusion, the spirit of corruption, tribalism, greed. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will, he will spirit of God, invoke through witchcraft and every evil magic and sorcery, then encounter by the power of the living God. Oh, Father, cleanse out the gland, Lord God, from every evil. Bloodshed in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of corruption, things dug underneath the earth, underneath the ground, in the name of Jesus Christ, underneath the ocean bed, since hanging in the air, contrary to the will of God. Chance, Lord God, thrown on, Father Lord, on crossroads in the name of Jesus Christ, in the him and sent out a heaven over Shandaraba. Status erected, Father Lord, to hide the Son of Lord, Lord, him and sent out a home of Shandaraba. Father Lord, evil in our communities, let them come down by the power of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, he has chance, Lord God, to be a center of the whole ocean. We remember that are coming out from the mouth of the wicked people against, against the nation, Father Lord, letting them return back upon their heads in the name of Jesus Christ. Every incantation done, Father Lord, everything contrary to the will of God, Father, we pull down by the power of the living God. We join our voices to millions praying today all over the world. Lord, he be center. Yell and cry, help us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're not a God that will reject your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the needs of the children be provided in the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Or put every evil in the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, let our government begin to, to build schools, oh Lord God, begin to provide infrastructure for that Lord. Oh, Rabbi, in the schools, in the colleges and universities, begin, oh Lord God, to repair the roads, oh Lord God. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that our children will be taken care of. That the Department of Social Welfare begin to take care of families, strengthen families in the name of Jesus Christ. Provide food for children that do not have food in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, provide jobs so people looking for jobs of oh God. Oh God Almighty, Rebbe Heaven Center, Rebbe Heaven Center, arise unto us, change the foundation of evil in Nigeria. Let the money stolen, Jehovah God, from the country and placed in foreign accounts be returned back to the people of Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the money not go in the wrong uh, into the wrong hands, of oh God. Let it be used, of oh God, to provide the services that the people need in Jesus' mighty name. Father, let your light shine upon the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Let darkness find no place to hide. Let those, oh God, that have heard the country that let it be brought down by your mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ. The country doesn't belong to them. Oh, Raka Shindaraba Haba Haba Haba. It belongs to you. Restore the country back to your children. Let those who call themselves believers, Christians, Lord God, in government, Jehovah God, begin to work for you. Let the fire of God begin to prune and push them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be brought down to obedience of your being concerning the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that your children will not rub their hands in blood money in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, the money of corruption, Jehovah God. Let them think about the salvation of their souls, Lord God. Let them know that they are representing you in the nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Change the foundation of evil in our land, Father Lord. Arise unto us and help us. Let uh, your enemies be brought down low in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. We bless you for all that you do for our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring the United Nations before you, Father Lord, all in position of leadership. Rehensen that I have a homo Let them hear the word of the living God today. In the name of Jesus Jesus, no part of the world can be impoverished by the United Nations through their policies, oh Lord God. We may send the rubber high rise, oh Lord God, shape the foundation of evil in the United Nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, hold the mark, the hands of those that have run of oppression in their hands against the nations, oh Lord God. Father, arise, oh Lord God, let the spirit of God direct everything done in the United Nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Let on, oh Father Lord, let the spirit of oh God speak, oh Lord God, to our leaders today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every wisdom direct the of human affairs in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, be of a standard against those that are not impoverishing your children, your wife, God. Taking them away from nations and not restoring back the things that belong to them in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against greed in the United Nations, Lord God. We come against any country that we exalt itself over your children, Father Lord. That you have not given that position of, of prominence in the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, arise unto us. Help us this day. Deliver us from evil in the land you are giving to your children. You are a portion in the land of the living. You are our God, we may be sent that about Homo Shendra, help 
us this day in the name of Jesus Christ. That there will be prosperity in the midst of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That your children will eat of the fat of the land in the name of Jesus Christ. That it will be well with us and our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. This day we repent to all of God in ways that we are sin against you. We are going to sins today. That we are falling short of your glory in so many ways. We are turning our back against you, Father Lord. Have mercy. We are your people called by your name. We are returning back to you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, forgive us. Have mercy upon us, Lord God. Restore back to us those things that belong to us, the peace of us, the joy of our salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you today. We thank you for all you have done for us. There's no God that's it. That God and God alone. We have not come to you in vain. We have come before you. God who answers our prayers. God who helps us. We know you have helped us this day in the name of Jesus Christ and your light, O Lord God, will continue to shine in our nations, O Lord God. That our leaders will be reminded, O Lord God, of their duties, their responsibilities to their people in the name of Jesus Christ. That our leaders will be able to provide what the nations need in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we bless you, our Father, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, O Lord God, for President Barack Obama. We bless you for Vice President Joe Biden in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up the Senate, the Congress to you, the Secretary of State, and the, the, the governors, the mayors, Father Lord, the various departments, the councilmen and women in the name of Jesus Christ, all who head departments, O Lord God. Father, let your children begin to work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch them this day, Father Lord. We assure them, Father Lord, that you are God involved in the affairs of your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the truth prevail in everything they do in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you have given them faith to administer justice. Let justice be, be, justice be administered in the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against Father Lord every word contrary to you. We spoken or oh, that in our government 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 against the marriage institution. We are prudent to today that they say they will not stand in Jesus' mighty name. That marriage we call always be a union between a man and a woman. That's the way we carry out your mandate upon our lives in the land you have given to us. That's the way we silence the voice of darkness trying to come against your kingdom, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are able to reproduce. As we have married men to women, we pass on, Father Lord, the truth to our children, they married men to women. They are set in sense the way you created them. Father, you have given us our children as blessings of God. They do not bring sorrow to our our lives that bring rejoicing, Father Lord. They give us strength to withstand the forces of darkness, O Lord God, that the enemy cannot penetrate into our homes, O Lord God. As children, Father Lord, we prosper in good works in the land you are giving to us. They are sent to position of leadership in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon fashion against us that our families will prosper. We pull down every stronghold, Father Lord, as of wickedness, the spirit of the strong man and woman in families in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of the strong man and woman in communities come down by the power of the living God. Let the word of God prevail in our midst. We overturn evil culture and tradition. We come against activities contrary to the will of God in our families and communities. Jehovah, have your way in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you for all you have done for us today. You are our God. There's no God that's it. Be that is not in the midst of your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. You are God that gives us more than a take up um, opportunity. You Father Lord, to repent of our sins. Your answer always has stretched towards us. This morning, we renounce every shame, every reproach, every deception. All right, have a center. We have nothing to do with any lies spirit we surrender to you have your way father lord let our light continue to shine that men will see our good works and glorify your mighty name in the name of jesus christ this morning jehovah god we bless you for the body of christ we thank you for spiritual leaders within the body of christ let them speak as oracles of god to the nations of god let them not compromise of god with corrupt leaders in the nations of god let them not receive blood money as offerings in the name of jesus christ let them question the leaders when they give offerings that they know that people cannot give in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit of truth lead the church in everything the church does in our nation, Lord God. Let the church not become a run of oppression, working with the leaders against the community of God's children. Jehovah God, let your light shine within the church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Use the church to do great works, Lord God. That our uh, spiritual leaders will continue to speak as your oracles, because it will be in the forefront of the things related to the kingdom in our nation, Lord God. That they, that they will, that, that their, most, their focus will be on bringing souls into the kingdom. Oh, Rahim is center. And in Ensuring that your peace dwells in our communities in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God, we bless you, God. That your children will stand in their right position and begin to do great works without being afraid of men. That they will have the spirit of Daniel over them in the name of Jesus Christ. They will have the spirit of Nehemiah over them. The spirit of Ezra. Those who stood on God and Him and said that they get all God authority in the name of Jesus Christ. They will have the spirit of Esther over them in the name of Jesus Christ. And above all, the spirit of the living God. Remain send them over to the in the name of Jesus Christ, God, we bless you for all you do for us and all you are doing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. For overturning captivity, for establishing your word concerning us in our nations and families in the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for fruitfulness in our families. We know that we are your children when we are fruitful. Glory be to your mighty name, our Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Our God, we thank you for the great commission that your children are going forth into the neighbors to, 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 to testify about your faithfulness, Lord God, to bring souls into your kingdom. They are preaching this gospel of salvation in and out of season. They are praying your house the house of prayer for all nations, Lord God. He may send that over her. He's not a den of robber. We overturn the activity of false prophets and teachers. We frustrate those gather for evil purposes. We trample upon their evil devices. We flood the local assemblies with the blood of Jesus Christ. God, we thank you. We bless you for inner strength you are giving to us to press back against the forces of darkness and do great works for you. Thank you for the outreach ministry between the churches, the over God. Thank you for that, Lord, that your children are being fed with spiritual food and with food for their bodies, natural food for their bodies. Thank you, God, for all you are doing for us in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Thank you for overturning captivities this day. We bless you for souls that are coming in by slanders returning back to the body of Christ. God Almighty, who is like unto you, not God involved in the affairs of your children. Thank you for the spirit of unity and sense of control where we are gathered in your name in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for bestowing the blessings upon us in Jesus' name. Father, we say thank you for all you have done for us this day. Our Father, this day we commit unto your hands those that are sick in our families wherever they are. In the hospital, in the nursing home, in their homes, oh Lord God. We may send them our home in the rehabilitation centers, those that do not even have a roof over their heads. Arise unto your children today. Send forth your word to heal them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let miracle flow today. All signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. Let people arise from the sick base to begin to testify about your faithfulness. Don't be hands of the medical personnel taking care of your children today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, help them as they carry out various medical procedures on your children today. Rebuild the kingdom of darkness on our behalf. Overturn oh, any buying and selling done in this spiritual realm contrary to your will. Don't have a frustrate those gather for evil purposes, Father Lord. Expose their evil work, Jehovah God. Thank you for your children that are working faithfully for you. Continue to bless them and their families and continue to use them to do great works in the nations of God in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God, for all you have done for us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, our Father. We thank you that there's no barrenness of God in the kingdom of God. Jehovah, we thank you that the barren woman is a mother of many children. She find peace in our home in Jesus' mighty name. Those looking up to you today for the blessing of the womb, touch them, Jehovah God. Bless them. Children and inheritance from you, the blessing of the womb is a reward from you. Touch your children today. We are showing them your presence in their situation. Help them to carry pregnancy to food them. Rebuke for all the kingdom of darkness on their behalf. Anything erected against them contrary to your, your way must come down. Thank you that the wounds of your daughters will carry pregnancy to food them. Thank you for rebuking miscarriage and abortion, Father Lord. Thank you for protecting the, protecting the unborn baby in the mother's womb. Jehovah, we bless you this morning. We thank you for all you have done, that your children are able to bring forth their children into this world. Oh, you will have rebuked death and child birth in the name of Jesus Christ. You have overturned the cause of the God. He may send that in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you this morning for children that will be dedicated to you. Glory be to your mighty name in our midst, O Lord God. Father, thank you for those morning the death of loved ones that you are touching them, reassuring them of your faithfulness towards them. Thank you, Jehovah God, for blessing your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God, for doing what you alone can do in their lives, O Lord God. Thank you for reassuring them that you are God. Thank you, Jehovah God, that the rest that the loved ones are resting, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you that we are not the most miserable of things you created, Jehovah God. That when we die, we will resurrect, O Lord God. We will be with you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your resurrection power working in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We glorify your mighty name this morning. There's no God that's still. Be that exalted. We thank you that we have measured the elevation of beauty today in the name of Jesus Christ. You have touched situations in our lives and our communities, the body of Christ. You have touched our children and our husbands. Our husbands are priests in their homes in the name of Jesus Christ. You have reassured us, Jehovah God, that you have blessed us, O Lord God, in our marriages because we are united in only matrimony with our husbands in the name of Jesus Christ. We are united in ministry work. No weapon fashion against us and our families will prosper. Oh God, we thank you. We come against every evil word spoken against our marriages. We renounce them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for restoring to us everything that belongs to us today. Thank you for blessing us and our children, Jehovah God. Thank you for touching our leaders today. Thank you for touching our spiritual leaders and the body of Christ today. Oh, be that exalted in our midst, Lord God. You have made the situation beautiful for us today. We have met you this morning at the elevation of beauty. And on my side of the most with deliverance. There's deliverance for your children today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we thank you. From our bellies, we flow springs of living water. Springs of living water are flowing this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Thank you for reviving our soul and refreshing us this morning. Thank you for fresh anointing upon us this morning. Thank you for setting those stories tables for us in the presence of our enemies. Thank you that your rod and staff will continue to lead us wherever we go. Thank you, Father, Lord, that your goodness and mercy will lead us wherever we go today in Jesus' mighty name. You are our Father. There's no God that's there is no God that's there. You preside in the great 
assemblies of the gods, the gods fear you. Your hands are lifted up to lifted up to deliver us. Oh, you teach us how to fight and you make us new people. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your Holy Spirit helping us today. So that the living God will time you. We do not know how to pray. We do not know what we ought to pray about. We do not even know what has been planned against us. But we know we have you. We may send that about couple shit that about. In the name of Jesus Christ, defend us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We our source from evil in the name of Jesus Christ. We him is sent that about couple shit. Overturn every work done in darkness. Release him is sent that Let the light of God shine wherever we go today. In the name of Jesus Christ, let our God be glorified in our lives today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you for all you have done for us this morning. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our lives today. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank our God for His goodness to us. He does not fill us. When we call upon the name of God, He arises unto us. He comes to help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, this day our God has come to help us in Jesus' mighty name. He has heard our, heard our cry for help. In the name of Jesus Christ, He will not turn His back against us. Our God is faithful. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I want to read from the book of Psalm 119, 119, beginning from verse 105. I'll read from verse 105 to verse one. 112 glory hallelujah amen i want us to understand that when we work wherever we go as children of god that the word of god is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths unto our paths amen a, a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths in the mighty name of jesus christ that god leads us glory that we do not walk in darkness that we do not walk without purpose that God leads us on the path and he wants, he wants us to walk on. He knows what is outside there that we have not seen. He leads us, he directs the course of our lives. He leads us to the place he wants us to go, where he wants us to be. There's no confusion about our life. Whatever we pass through challenges, know that through those challenges that God is working out things for us to bring us to where he wants us to be, to make us the people he has created us to be. So today, someone may be passing through a challenge of life and you're just sitting there and like, why am I in this situation? Know that the word of God says that everything works for our good, for those who call God, who know God, who believe in Him, who have placed a trust in Him. Everything will work for their good. That through that challenge you're passing through, God is going to bring you to where He wants you to be. Your light will continue to shine. Amen. You will continue to see the goodness of God leading you. Believe God, place your trust in God. Know that your life will not end will not be truncated by any force of darkness that god is in your life god is involved in your affairs and god is helping you god is helping me god is helping all of us we have placed our trust in a god that will never fail us god that arises unto us god who answers our prayers glory hallelujah amen so we are not just walking in darkness the word of god as i said is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths in the mighty name of jesus christ Wherever we go, we get to where God wants us to go. We are being led by the Spirit of God. Remember, angels are there, ministry unto us. When Jesus Christ was tempted by Satan, the, the angels were there. They did not come to stop Satan when that temptation was going through. Was when, when, when Satan was tempting Jesus Christ, they stood there. Jesus Christ had to prove himself as uh, that he truly was a child of God, one that could honor. The word of God in his life. One that knew his calling. One that knew that God truly loved us. Amen. So the angels said there. They allowed him to pass through the temptation. But as soon as he overcame temptation. And he defeated the angels. The, 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 the Satan. The angels came. To minister unto him. Also in the story of Job. Do you think Job was just alone suffering. That God did not put those ministry angels there. They were there. They were observing the things happening. He was passing through everything. Amen. That's the way it is for us in this world. God has placed everything to help us. We may just think that we're not passing through a dark place. Why am I here? But remember that you are light in that darkness. That that darkness has seen the seal of, seal of God's ownership upon your forehead. That darkness knows who you are. When the apostles went out, when they met with the evil spirits in the nations, they knew that this were truly the children of God. The spirit of darkness knows the spirit in us. If we are lying, they know. If we are truly the child of God, they see it and they know. Spirit speaks of its own accord. So, children of the living God, let us today receive 
all the encouragement we need from the word of God. All the power we, 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 we need. Take out the wisdom we need from the power of or from the word of God. The light we need from the word of God. Feed on it. Be encouraged. Let us receive confidence. The spirit of boldness to begin to do the work of God. Because the word of God is a light. It's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths, leading us to where God wants us to go. We are not walking in darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Having said that, I'm going to read from Psalm 119, beginning from verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and confirmed that I will keep your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray, the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and, reach, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies. Want to feed on this also? Your testimonies I have taken as a heritage forever. The testimonies of God, the psalmist said, I have taken your testimonies as a heritage forever. For they are the rejoicing of my heart. The testimonies of God is goodness, is mercy, is loving kindness to us, is unfailing love, is long suffering to us. The testimonies of what we know God has done for us to be our heritage forever and should give us rejoicing because we know our God uses the same standard of righteousness of judgment that is God and lost his children and he will never reject us because we know the testimony of God that he gave us salvation through Jesus Christ that God has opened unto us that door through which the righteous was coming because we know the testimony of God that God is the all righteous all holy that we can rely on the word of God the word of God that is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths. Because we know the testimony of God that he gave Jesus Christ power to make us his children. As many that belong, belong uh, that believe in him, that we uphold the testimony of God. Today, we are not afraid to go out to wherever God is leading us. The word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Darkness cannot hide wherever we walk through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Darkness sees the light coming. Darkness will hide because darkness does not want this to be exposed because the verdict has already gone out. Anyone who does evil will hide from, from, from the light. But those who walk righteously will walk into the light. And those who know that God is God who helps the sinner, God who stands and asks straight to the sinner, will walk into the light, knowing that God will make them new people in the name of Jesus Christ. So today, wherever we go, let us feed on the living word of God, the testimony of God that we know what God has done for us. Let it be an, our heritage forever. Let it give us rejoicing and strength, the spirit of boldness and confidence that we need to testify about our God to the world that we live in, in the name of Jesus Christ, because our God will never change. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever to the very end, because I know that you will never fail, because I know your testimony, then an inheritance to me forever, because I know you are all righteous, you are all truthful. You do not change. There's no shifting shadows in you. There's no darkness in you. You are always the same. You are always faithful to your children. You always love us. We are sinners. When you sent up your son to die for us, you gave us grace that we did not even merit as your children. Because we know who you are. Amen? We will always do what you want us to do. We will live by your word in the name of Jesus Christ. We know you are giving us your spirit to help us. You know our weaknesses, but yet we will live by your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you, we go, your word will continue to lead us in the name of Jesus Christ. Our light will continue to shine. We will continue to testify about your faithfulness. We will continue to tell people about your wondrous works so that more souls will be brought into your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, wherever we go, let us begin to proclaim the goodness of God. We are ambassadors for our God. He has called us to the ministry of reconciliation. We are working with the Spirit of God in this world. Appealing to the entire world to be reconciled back to God. God does not delight in the death of a sinner. He wants us to repent of our sins to turn back to him. 
Today, let us begin to tell our brothers and sisters, beginning from our families, tell our children the truth in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith comes by hearing and it's by hearing the word of God. Let us add good works to our faith. If there's no good works to show, we cannot bring anybody into the kingdom we deceive ourselves. What good works can we do today? What good works can we do wherever God is sending us today to show people that truly we are the children of God? That we believe in the God that has called us is. That we are mighty in his hands because we know him to do great works in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And this time we are going to thank God for the living word of God in our lives. The living word of God that sends us wherever we go. Leading us on that path that God wants us to walk on. Father, we bless you. Your word will prevail in our lives, in our families, in our communities. In our government, in the body of Christ, wherever your children congregate today, your living word will never fail us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you that we are your children, Jehovah God. We thank you that you have lifted up our heads above our enemies, Jehovah God. We thank you that we live by the standard of the words you have, well, you have laid down for us. That we not violate the spiritual principles you have laid for our families and nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, by them we are warned. By keeping them we are blessed. We repent, Lord God where we have turned back against your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Prevail in our lives, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be fruitfulness and prosperity oh, Robert Shinda, in the nations and our families in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you. We thank you for all you have done for us in Jesus' mighty and precious name. We have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord loves you. We love you to be blessed this day. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.